Nimona down. Not much else to do but go to area zero. So I guess we'll do that. I haven't been in my room more than once <laughs> since the beginning of the game. Interesting to be back here. He gave me the location on the map, right? Let me check. Where am I going? I think we saw the gate before- ah, yeah, it's up here near Madali. Okay. Ah. Making me go outside. Is this the gate? Maybe? I think so. Oh, uh, yep. Hey, over here! This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the Great Crater, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Why are they keeping the two teammates a surprise? <laughs> we already know it's gonna be Penny and Nimona. But he hasn't mentioned them by name yet, so I, I assume it's supposed to be some kind of reveal. Uh, hello? <laughs> Are you, uh, you good game? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hola, Omi. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. When she heard she'd get to battle some awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark, and where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. Last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Did Penny fix it? Well, now the lights are on. But why? I turned them on. Whoa, no way. You must be some kind of tech genius to turn them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess my name's Penny. Well, hey, we never actually got to talk. I'm the Mona, I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. You like Pokemon battling too? Or you talk like way too much. That's mean. <laughs> the director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Petty here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Omi. I'm not really an adventuring type, but I owe you, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course everyone knows me, Arvin, and my loves include my Mabostiff and cooking and Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Omi, I've been expecting you. Yes, but no one else. And it seems you've gathered up a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my mom. Probably. What? That's Professor Sada? Nimona, student ID. Okay, Penny. Yeah, thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person, exactly. Arvin, did you, uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? Begin that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to the Great Crater. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see to your right. Uh, Mom? Is it a pre-recording? Okay, it's a recording. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Is it not a recording and she just didn't respond? <laughs> I guess it's not a recording because she did mention us bringing allies. Biometric identification, identity is confirmed. 
Access granted. Oh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you'll be above Area Zero. Only have you brought Karidon with you. Yeah. I can't take it away. <laughs> I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Glidon's, gl Glidon's gliding abilities, you should be able to descend into the depths. What about the others? <laughs> they have to just jump? What, isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Karidon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I'll get in touch once again. I hope your trick is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. Wait, what? How are they gonna get down? That girl, is she like, incapable of fear or what? Or what? I best be gonna go to. Wait, but actually, how are they getting down? Hi. I can't see anything but clouds. How far down do you think it goes? Ready for the worst? Uh, hold on. Well, ho ho, this is even higher up than looking down from the top of a lighthouse. That's not a really high bar. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Wait, are we all riding on it? Can he glide effectively with four people on him? I don't think two people could fit on Karidon. What's the matter with it? Hm. Scared of heights. What? I don't believe you. No wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. Yes, there is! The more people that are on this, the harder it's gonna be for him to glide, right? Get on! This does not- this is not safe. This is very not safe. I'm gonna die! What's with the fun music? That was horrifying! <laughs> I guess I have my Rotom phone. That, you know what? They could have jumped off and just used the Rotom phones to save themselves. So what are they going to have me do here? It's probably going to be like the Ultra Beast storyline where I just have to catch a bunch of the Paradox Pokemon for research or something, maybe? And now I'm back here again. I thought I might have died once or twice there. It's okay, bud. It chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Was it scared of this place or something? Wait a second, where's the student council girl? Well, she's gone, you don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. See this. Area Zero is amazing! Come on already. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Four humans identified, condition satisfactory, vital signs, okay. It appears you're able to make the descent without being harmed. Ha, ah, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That's good. I had concerns you might fail given the crudeness of the only available access method. I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Ah, you were worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero, however. The entrance to your lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. What? He's trapped? How, why? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Okay. Let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Yeah, it really does. <laughs> but why? Why? Okay, I guess we'll find out. Come on, time to make our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Oh, there are regular Pokemon here. I thought it'd be like only new Pokemon. Wait, they're following me? I 
can't ride to ride on. Okay. Walking it is. Is there anything over here that I could need? Any TMs? Oh. Ah, the music starting scared me. <laughs> so is this not one of the research stations? I guess not. These are just like random buildings. Can I check where they are? Sure can't. Looking around it is. Is there a way to unlock a map for this place or do I have to just like... I'm kind of digging it though, it does look really cool. And there's crystal on this tree. I assume this is the, how they're going to explain terrestrializing that it originates from here or something. Feels different from seeing it on textbooks, it's so intense. Normally we'd never be able to get in here to see for ourselves. Wait, where'd Koridon go? Seems like it got spooked by something, it's hiding in its ball. On Serio, that's not good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? Should be alright the last time I was here. I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through if you're a real sob story. Why don't you just call the professor if she's down here? Don't get along or something? None of your business. Wait, so we could call a flying taxi to get us out, but like, why can't we call one to get us in? If they can come in here, then they should be able to take us. Oh right, I can't do that. <laughs> What are you looking at? Did they tell us where to go? I guess we're just looking around for the lab, huh? I mean, these like floating sparkles are throwing me off because I, I look at like a sparkle in the periphery of my vision. And I think it's one of the hidden items on the ground, but it's, it's like an air sparkle. Oh god, there's gold like everywhere. They're in every environment, dude. Anytime you see water, there's gonna be gold up. I do wish I could sprint, though. Oh, is this it? Or is this just a dish? Oh, just a dish. Well, there's one. So hold on. So that's one. There's one right there. I hope I didn't pass one of the research stations. I guess I'll go to this one because it's closer. Oh, I can't jump off, but I have Rotom. Oh, I can. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Whoa, did she just teleport down here? <laughs> that's wild. Another one of Penny's crazy hacker abilities. Here's the first base. Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay, I'm in the cutscene. <laughs> oh, there goes Arvin. <laughs> Is he gonna keep sliding? Come on, keep going. I think he's gonna stop as soon as he gets onto the solid ground. Yeah. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish rations? Radish rations? Research station. Okay. Well, that was close. How did he forget that? Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. Shut up! What are you talking- What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Yeah, what the heck is that? What do you mean- That's a normal Pokemon. That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be finding the Great Crater. Come on, I mean, let's take it on together. What? We're just gonna 2v1 this poor, wild Lamora? Also, the battle music? I kinda like it. Sounds kinda like the Ultra Beast music. And we really are gonna 2v1 this wild Lamora. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna kill it with my own, I guess. Probably, okay, you know what, I probably should have been careful because it could have had like earth power, but I I guess her like in rock has real run, so it doesn't matter. Oh, 
I don't understand why we're doing this, but I guess it had to die. It looked at us wrong. Nimono really wanted to kill it. Are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Maybe that, like, Glamora thing is just, like, supposed to be a prologue, because we're gonna 2v1 a bunch of, uh, past Pokémon. Oh, there's an Ultra Ball in the middle of the floor there, that I'm standing on. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you reached your first research station without incident. The facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Era Zero. 87 years ago. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Only if you'd be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that control panel. Also, it's strange that the bed is in, like, the middle room. I feel like the, like, living quarters would be somewhere else. This is weird to have, like, a bed right here, I guess. Well, press the button. Lock disabled. Well done. How long has she been in there? She's been, like, trapped, right? She can't open the locks? And she never, like, called for help? This, like, seems like a major thing. I mean, I guess she's calling for help now, but... She doesn't seem, like, urgently in danger, I suppose. I don't know, it's just weird. Why is she trapped here? Okay, I think I probably missed one of the research labs. I, I walked pretty far to get to this one, so... I am not gonna find the others. Do these dishes give me any hints? I don't think so. I guess I just have to walk around. It's, it's a little bit... I almost never saw my mom in my whole life. Oh, is it time for the backstory reveal? Where's your rapper here? Penny, shh. Really well, busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself, my boss stiff was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I didn't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. I tend not to think about it too much, tried to be just as proud that she was a famous genius. Truth is, I would rather have just had a mom who was there even if she wasn't great. I haven't seen her for ages unless you count seeing her in the news. Used to get emails, but even those stopped coming. And then she, she appears out of the blue and tells me we gotta come to Area Zero? Some family, right? Oh, uh, but... We're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier, I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. I was also giving you a hard time, sorry. Penny. My name's Penny. Touching. You know you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. Don't call me a pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit. While wow, wholesome. Okay, well I see one over there, but that's far as hell. Where are the others? So one's right here. I feel like it's gotta be in like four quadrants, right? Because that one's directly across from this one, so I think there's gotta be one like over there. Maybe up up there? I can't see it though. And then maybe one over here. But it might just be behind this cliff. I guess I'll just head down and find out. It's only really annoying because I can't- Oh, hi. Because I can't use Coridon, so I have to walk everywhere and you can't sprint, so I'm just so slow. Alright, can you get away from me? Thank you. It's also a lot harder to get away from Pokemon chasing me, because the low kicks in Hanlucha here want you dead, so as soon as they see you, they start running at you like crazy people. But I guess I'll just keep looking. I, I, I want to look around here a bit more, because I don't want to go down unless I know where I'm going, because if I go down, it's a lot harder to come back up. And there's no map. Yeah, there's no map, so... Gotta do it the hard way. I really shouldn't go down. Also, you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't gotten my encounter here. 
I could check what's here, but I'm just gonna catch it for a giraffe. It's the first thing I saw that was new, so... Oh no. Okay, he went for crunch and not a psychic move. We're good. There we go. Whoa. That's a nice underground shot, I guess. Now, now that I've heard all the battle themes, I think this is my third favorite. Because I like East Province, then West Province. Then this one, then North, then South. I think South is my least favorite battle theme. Gotta make its name a palindrome, I guess. Yeah, I really wish I could just ride Koridon. <laughs> Because walking through this area is very slow going. Or at the very least, if I could sprint. Even if it's like this was the sprint speed, and like I had to do this for walking speed, it would feel like I'm faster, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't see any of the other facilities, so I guess I have to go down. Just head towards the one I can see. Because there's the one we just were at. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't see any others. Oh well, I'll go towards the one that's in view. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my mom. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Really, what kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, it more like this crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, rampagey than average? Yeah, I'm sure, it was like a completely different creature altogether. And it hurt my boss stiff real bad, so it's not like I'd just forget. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? Oh, there's one. This is a new one, I think. Or maybe I'm crazy, and I'm just heading towards this one. <laughs> That's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Nimona, you know that? Whoa, interesting slide. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> I can't move. Okay, just gotta let it carry me to the bottom. I mean, I, I think his, like, rampage... He's, he calls it a thing that doesn't look like a Pokemon. I think that makes more sense in Violet when they're, like, robots. In this, they kind of all look like Pokemon. <laughs> like, Great Tusk just looks like Super Don Fan. It doesn't really look like a weird monster like an Ultra Beast does. Like, the Ultra Beasts don't look like Pokemon. So, I, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't make as much sense in Scarlet when they definitely just look like Pokemon. The second research station, about time too. Plus, I, I feel like he should have an, enough knowledge about Pokemon that he's like, oh, that looks like an Amoongus, but not really, you know, rather than, oh, it looks like some kind of weird creature that's not a Pokemon. I don't know. Let's let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Heh <laughs> ooh, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Oh, hey, a screen tail. Yeah, see, hey look, a Jigglypuff. See, someone finally says it, it just looks like a uh, Bogomon. <laughs> It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. Ooh. I do wish they had actual names, though. Oh my gosh, so cute. I wonder what Pokemon this is in, uh, in Scarlet. Because honestly, Screamtail looks more like a Jigglypuff than, like... You know, I'm gonna guess, in Violet, it's a it's an Iron Bundle. Because that looks more like Delibird than any of the other robots look like their Pokemon. Or, except Hydreigon, I guess. Iron Jugulus, I think it's called? Oh no! What the? Wah! Can I catch this? It's battle time. Uh, I or what's this called? Scream Tail is Psychic Fairy, I think. And yeah, I was right. The Glamora battle was just a prep for us having to fight these. I can't throw a Pokeball. Yeah, they don't give me a Pokeball pocket. Okay. Switch time it is, then. I don't want to get Psychic.
Does normal Jigglypuff have toes? I just noticed Screamtail has toes. I don't think Jigglypuff does. Iron Head. Also, why is it even called Screamtail? The other names make a little bit of sense, I think, but, like, this isn't a tail. I guess it kinda looks like a tail if you are squinting. <laughs> and I guess the scream part is that, like, it uses sound like a Jigglypuff sings, but it, like, screams. I'm assuming. I feel like they should have given it some kind of a sound move then, because it mostly just uses, like, I mean, it, it had hyper voice, but I mean, like, a stab sound move. Maybe it gets boom burst. Let's see, what was that darn thing? Scared me half to death. But Jigglypuff gets stab on boom burst, but this wouldn't. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Yeah, I'm sure they did that so the cutscenes could be the same in all of them. Seems like the wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should say be safe and catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place, that Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. You know what's even crazier? Not only is the layout of this place the same, but the chair and the books that are on the, like, that are open on the desk are in the exact same spot. That's wild. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. We're gonna catch glimpses of a ferocious beasts that were indeed Pokemon at all. The buff for the brutal blow and was mortally wounded. Yeah, we saw that before. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to Dawn Fang. Differences sheer size and shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think? I think they really are just Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves in battle just like the Pokemon we know. Exactly. I suppose the time's come for an explanation. Professor. Some of the life forms you see now residing in within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon. Whoa, that's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. Whoa. <laughs> it summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. Honestly, the time machine explanation, I'm okay with that, because it wouldn't make sense in Violet <laughs> without a time machine, I guess. <laughs> so the thing my mom spent forever researching down here, she actually got it working? Indeed, the cost was catastrophic. Cost. Well, there's my- look, there's an Ultra Ball next to my feet. <laughs> but a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It's theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for being such as a human, it would be not possible. It would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you. Also, why would it not be possible? Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Also, she found a time machine. That's crazy. Arvin, I. If possible, I'd like us to speak when we meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then. Please use the central panel and disable the lab. Are we unleashing some kind of crazy beast? Lock disable. Well done, please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Omi. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Really? That's wild. Or more like everything to do with this place, but I'm not the one she expects to fist whatever all this is, you are. I think you should be the one to carry it. A record of the expedition that the author Heath went on in the Great Crater has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. Take care of it for me. Can I read it? Please say yes. It's the Scarlet Book Arvin and Trust flipping through it. Nope, I can't read it. Okay, thanks. How useless! Wait, are those all the key items we have? That's really it? We have- there's like no key items in this game. That's crazy. Usually there's like- a full pocket. Oh, anyway. I don't really need to heal, but I might as well. And I guess I'll just keep looking around.
I, I haven't seen the other facilities, so this one's going to take a bit longer, I think. Oh, there's one. What are your parents like? My parents normal, I guess. Are you serious? I, even I know about your dad. He's on He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. He is? Everyone knows that he's famous, and I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. So Nimono's actually got some pampered little princess from a rich family? Ugh, no, no way. That's so not my thing. Though, yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were, like, hands-off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. What, you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Ga kayate penny. What, is your family super normal then? M my family is... Unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me, like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real downer for your dad, having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Ugh, homie, how about you? Your mother seemed super nice. Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made, too. Really wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. Wow, this is a loud ass waterfall. Alright, don't touch me, Goldbuck. I just want this. Okay, yeah, I've only seen that other facility. I hope, I really hope that I didn't miss one that was up at the top. Because if I have to walk all the way back to the top, I am going to be very sad. Alright, another research station. And we're gonna have to fight another Pokemon. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Wow, how did she know that the story is uh, leading that way? Ha, huh? oh Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? Oh, it's Great Tusk again. See, see, I probably should stop leading with, <laughs> this is just like the Titan Pokemon we saw, except not as big. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Whoa, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. I feel like that would be all over the news, like some giant unknown Pokemon just wandering the desert. It was huge. Like it was a Titan too, so like, I don't know, I feel like everyone should know about that. That's like, that's like national disaster level. I really should stop leading with Glamora. <laughs> Everything I run into destroys it. Double play riff this guy. Goodbye, Tusk. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Urbomiska came from down here. How did it get up there? You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous. Uh, if we got things from literal ancient times rolling around Paldia, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Actually true. Yeah, right. Because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. I feel like Arvin's hair is whiter than it used to be. Wasn't his hair like brownish before? Come on, Omi, let's get into that research station. Am I crazy? I feel like it was like brown with like gray accents. Now it looks gray with like dark gray accents. Whatever, I'll keep leading with Nightshade. One of these days, it'll find something I can just stay in on. I guess I could have stayed in on Jigglypuff. I didn't think he'd go for like hyper voice. I thought he'd do something that did damage. How are we doing all... How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Well, the books are actually in different places. I guess I- wait, maybe I was wrong about last one. Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. 
Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely it's also one of these ancient Pokemon? You're right! Huh. I think you're onto something. It's kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. Wait a second, I totally forgot. Hey Arvin! You had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place, so you must know something about it, right? You still remember that from way back? No wonder everyone's a little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Coridon, that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it'd be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor. Coridon, which I entrusted to Omi, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Though analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize what I discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar. The Pokemon is still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? Wait, really? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'd be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, please disable the next lock. Okie dokie. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue the final research station. Well, I didn't know where this one was and I found it pretty quickly. Hopefully I can actually- wait, there's like a teleport pad. What does that do? I didn't actually see that before. Are we going in there? The giant, scary looking cave? Okay, what's this? You can just go back to the gate. Okay. So if I need to get to the top, I'm just gonna do that, because that would be way easier than walking back to the top. I think I've already been to that one, right? I hope. I guess I'll just go into the scary looking cave. So Coridon's an ancient Pokemon, no wonder no one's seen it before. Gotta let me battle Coridon right now. Uh, it still won't come out of its ball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it, coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a while. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret, and I had to take care of it for her, too. Oh, there's Screamtail just hanging out. That's why you knew so much about it. I guess I could catch one. Ooh, Garganackle. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Once that happened, my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. I guess that makes sense of it. Whoa, man, calm down. Yeah, if people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my mom or Coridon again after that for ages. It can fly? I feel like I lost my mom because of Coridon. It was the worst feeling ever. I just hated Coridon. Oh, I guess I can't see the rest of the dialogue. Is he going to continue talking? Or is it just over now that I encountered that? I'm sorry for not telling you what I knew earlier. To be sorry. Shoot, that's like the coolest thing ever, and you didn't tell any of us. Yep, sure would be great to know all that relevant info before we got here. Dang, you guys, harsh. I like how they just... I guess I never really thought of them doing that. They just hang out on cliff walls. I think they eat rocks or something and suck out something from rocks. You know, I dig it. That's funny. Also, I don't think this is the right way, because I can't go through here. I guess that was wrong. Oh, I lied. <laughs> I'm also just blind. I could have jumped in here from the top, right? I wonder what this cutscene would look like if I just jumped in. If it would spawn me, like, here. Oh, there's the research station. Oh my god, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Okay, that's dark. We have Rotom phones. Oh, good call. Watch your step. The professor's down there somewhere, waiting for us. Yeah, you're gonna- Oh, his hair is brown. Okay, it was just the lighting, I think, that made his hair look gray. And that's fine, totally fine. 
Alright team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure here like the stories say. Yeah, this place looks something looks like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terastalize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, let's keep moving. Okay. Maybe we could keep moving. If you stop to yapping. You know, I'm glad that there's like Braviary down here. Because normally Braviary is a pain to finish the Pokedex with because it evolves so damn late. If I can just catch one, that'll make it a lot easier to complete the Pokedex. Also, these are huge. I guess, is there just like a straight path to the... Yeah, we're just heading straight to the facility. Okay. So Karadon came to our age through a time machine, then it lived here with a while with the professor along with another one of its kind? That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of, or to its second home at least. That's a big Glamora. I guess it's not that much bigger. That's great, a chance to unwise and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jibe with how it's been acting all spooked since we got here. It doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon either. I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Who said it was scared of heights? Didn't you? I'm pretty sure he said that. Given how Karadon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky seeing a place that you had bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away somewhere so I know how it feels. Aw, Penny. It's true, that is exactly the same scenario. Maybe it got hurt down here in Area Zero like Wabostiff? We can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle Karadon myself. Seriously? Well, at least you said it, not of us. Nimona, you're kind of unbelievable in a mostly good way. <laughs> Dorganacle's hilarious. Okay, I, I said you're hilarious, you know, I, I meant don't try to kill me, I'm just, just appreciating you, okay? I love Minecraft Pokemon. No cutscene this time for walking into this facility. Oh, this one is completely destroyed. That's crazy. Well, what happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. What? Don't call us children, that's so creepy. <laughs> God, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Oh, okay, it is some creepy nonsense. Come again? I'm so sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello, hello. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child. Childrenin. Childnin. Childeren. Children. Initiating restart. Is she a robot? Or is she an AI or some nonsense? The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it definitely was weird, at least. I don't... Almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Can I turn this off? You want to press the button? Yeah, I do. All locks disabled. Ah, 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 hello, can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission, there seems to be some signal interference. That's not what it was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last, please make your way now into the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Does Arvin know that his mother is a cyborg? She's been a robot the whole time? And so is Arvin? Oh my god, how did I know? <laughs> That's the plot twist. There was definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed up for more adventuring. What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go see a doctor, that's just not right. See, I'm pretty sure that call was really... Uh, never mind, it's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kinda down. Yes, he's finally coming to terms with the fact that he's a robot. Now things turned out, I'm counting on you to see this through. Yes. Is that? What is that? Is that the thing that we're going to? The Zero Lab? 
I, mean, I could walk down, but honestly, I think it's jump down time. No. <sighs> Guess that's what I get. Now we're fighting two Screamtails? I'm just gonna catch it. <clears throat> Not for the Nuzlocke, just because I want to catch it. It didn't work, so now I'm running. <laughs> if you're gonna be annoying, then I'm going to leave. Oh my god. You know what, this is probably a good place to stop. I guess I'll head down to the Zero Lab and see what this nonsense about her being a robot is. Also, I see an item on top of there, but I don't have Coridon, so I can't go glide and get it. But it's a good thing to keep in mind. Well, I guess we still got some more of Area Zero to explore. See ya.